To set the dimensions of a sprite, we can use the width and height properties. To scale the size of an object using relative values, we need to use the scale x and scale y properties. Scale x 0.5 means we are scaling down the width of the sprite to half its original width. Scale y2 means we are scaling up the height of the sprite to twice its original height. For a more concise code, we can apply both scales in a single line using the scale set method. To translate an object, we should assign the desired values to its x and y properties. And we can do the same thing using position x and position y. Alternatively, we can use the position set method. Another geometric transformation we can apply is skew using skew x, skew y, and skew set. We can discuss geometric transforms without mentioning rotation, so to apply a rotation to a component we need to assign a value in radians to the rotation property. The rotation worked, but it didn't produce the expected result, though it might be subtle in this case. And the issue here is that the center of rotation is positioned at the top left corner of the sprite, rather than its center. So to see how this affects the rotation, consider the following example. On the left is the default rotation, where the center is located at the top left corner of the square. Meanwhile, on the right, the rotation center is positioned at the center of the square. That said, to adjust the center, we need to use the pivot property. Here, I'll set half of the image width to the x coordinate and half of the height to the y coordinate. Alternatively, as with other transformations, we can use the set method. As you can see, the values here are absolute. I use these values based on the assumption that the image size is 200 by 400. That said, the sprite object has a more precise property for setting the rotation center, with values that are relative similar to those used for scaling. This property is called anchor. By setting x and y to 0.5, we position the rotation center at 50% of the width and height.